You're watching Pitch Up With The Pates, and I'm here today at Loudham Leisure World in Nottingham to take a look at the Conqueror 580. Join me as I have a look. Okay then, so let's take a step inside the Conqueror 580. It's a 2023 model. Very familiar for those of you who follow us on Instagram. Let's pitch it with the pates. You'll see that we have the 2022 version of this caravan. We were really fortunate to get the end of line 2022, just before the launch of the 23. So we saved a little money and also we uh, benefited from the larger skylights in the bathroom which I'll chat about a little later. So this is the lounge area, really nice size front seats, it's one of the reasons we like this caravan, it's really spacious in the front so for the three of us we really benefit from that extra space it is only seven foot six wide however because it's so light and bright because of the gloss cream lockers the uh, light upholstery sort of the pale greys it does make it feel very light and airy and does make it feel much wider than our previous swift product which was a dealer special sprite a swift freestyle so although it was similar in width or the same, should I say. This does actually feel bigger in terms of the space in the front. Really like the mix of materials used. So the new choice of wood grain, the gray and the cream, it really does lift the front end. We're big fans of that. It's one of the reasons we chose this fan is because it seems to break the mold with caravan design, particularly with the Mainstream manufacturers, they tend to be quite heavily dominated by sort of oak style wood grains, whereas we really like the light and bright feel of this caravan. It almost sort of brings uh, back the uh, Sterling Eccles style. This is a little softer. The Sterling Eccles was generally sort of white and, and gray, but it has that sort of feel around, um, about it uh, in style. So yeah, really like this front uh, lounge of this caravan. They have taken away the curtains, as you can see on the new Swift range. I'll be honest, we were a little dubious about that initially. We did like the curtains in the old caravan. However, we've been away now four times in the new van um, and we've not actually missed it. And um, we've not missed the curtains uh, so much so that we, we don't draw the front curtains any longer. And um, we just use the blinds. So we really like the clean lines that um, these fabric panels bring. So really nice, again in style and colour. Really lifts the area. But yeah, not an issue for us with the curtains. So if you have got doubts with regards to the lack of curtains as we did, it was more Becca, my wife, um, who probably had the, the greatest doubt. After using it once or twice, we realized actually it was a non-issue um, and we certainly don't miss them. So we really like the fact that there are three lockers um, on each side, so they are split rather than um, one large one and one in the corner. Really helps with organizing your things. So we tend to use um, one for our dog and all, all their bits and pieces. Um, a couple for all our son's things and then the others on the other side we use for our stuff. 
Uh, the front chest as well, really, really large. Got lots of space in there. So really useful. We keep all our games and bits and pieces in there. Um, we use the top one for any sort of manuals and any sort of tools and torches and things we need to grab um, when we're out and about. And then obviously that pulls out into a nice sized um, front sort of occasional table, which we have out a lot of the time. Saves us getting the, the large table out. So yeah, really nice again, because it's light, so it doesn't impose. But we're really big fans of this caravan. Hence, obviously we, we purchased it. We would have probably gone for the elegance if it wasn't for the uh, for the weight in our current tow car. Um, so this was sort of at the top end of our uh, capabilities with our um, Mercedes C-Class. But yeah, this is definitely um, our favourite seven foot six caravan on a single axle at the moment. That's sort of aimed at the higher end of the of the market. The front shelf has got plenty of. Uh, sockets you've got two uh, USB uh, power outlets on there you've got the switch for the lights there is what a blanked uh, socket as well that we can use for, for something else further down the line which I'll probably do you've also got a 12 um, 12 volt power socket and um, you've got your standard 230 volt um, and you've also got your um, coax there your TV and your uh, satellite um, Connections so you can actually connect into this van direct from a post or into a, um, a Portable satellite dish and straight into your TV So that's the front. Let's have a look at the kitchen So following a similar theme to the front the kitchen is again light and bright Which we really liked big selling point for us was the huge drawer uh, with the cutlery in there so um, you're not stuck for space. So yeah, really nice touch that. And everything on this van is soft closing, um, which having a four year old really helps. So he's not able to slam cupboards shut and they do soft close, which is, which is good. Nice stainless sink, the uh, Swift washing up bowl now, which comes with the 23 models. So we've actually purchased one of those because it's a, Perfect size as you can see it doesn't protrude above the um, the countertop So uh, really worth getting one if you haven't already and um, with any of your um, pre-23 vans Nice chrome tap on there sort of a domestic style Looks really smart usual 230 volt sockets on there and a, a light switch for the um, the light underneath the um, cabinets there with the microwave is you've got the new style microwaves with no uh, no plate in there, which really like. I understand that that's probably more beneficial to motorhomes, but um, we often used to forget with the caravan taking out in the uh, Freestyle S4, taking out the plate, and um, there's always a risk of it breaking. You've got the Thetford um, separate um, cooker and grill. So a separate oven grill there on the cooker. You've also got your dual fuel hob, really useful. We think that's great having come from the um, Freestyle, which didn't have the electric hot plate. We really like that. So yeah, again, really nice area. Loads and loads of storage. Underneath the sink. So for the three of us, we definitely aren't struggling in this van at the moment. So time will tell as the as the years go by if we make it that far without going for a, an elegance further down the line. Nice splash back there. You've got the slimline Dometic uh, fridge freezer. Opens both ways, which is great. It's got the um, internal freezer compartment. I do prefer the separates however um, I'd rather have a slim line than the standard under counter fridge so it's a reasonable compromise and the fact that it opens both ways really great so you can get it from the bedroom side you can also get it from 
the kitchen and lounge and we tend in our van to really utilize that possibly thought it was a gimmick at first but we do actually use both sides of that um, fridge um, constantly so yeah it's definitely a useful feature and something which um, you should consider when looking for a, uh, a caravan particularly if you like cooking particularly if you have uh, youngsters um, it's, it's really useful because they can actually access the fridge as well because of the height of it it's so easy to to operate whilst we're in this area we'll talk about the swift command so any swift product conqueror and above has the swift command panel i said this on the elegance review we love this um i can understand why some people might struggle so for example my mum she might struggle with some of the settings on there and operate in the swift command however we absolutely love this product um, and we hope that Swift continue to install this on their premium vans and continue to improve on it and actually increase the connectivity. So yeah, brilliant piece of kit. We use the DAB radio on there and all the presets and you can also use the um, equalizer, the graphic equalizer for the speakers and it really fine tunes them and they sound really great um in the front there better than when you have the standard um head unit so we we really like this um got the alder central heating control so the elegance had the underfloor uh, this one doesn't so obviously it reflects in the price of the elegance having those extra features um but it still makes a huge difference we were away um at chatsworth um cam c and uh, clumber park cam c over christmas and new year and we were toasty at 21 degrees um, for the entirety of our stay and the alder just kept the temperature perfect throughout uh, so we had no issue whatsoever it's actually warmer in the caravan at the moment than it perhaps is at home at times so yeah that's the kitchen area uh, really really great space the benefit of the 580 perhaps over say the 560 with the center bathroom is just the openness of this caravan that's one of the things that we were really sort of keen on uh, with this particular design although we would consider the uh, mid bathroom in the 835 elegance uh, due to the eight foot wide uh, chassis uh, in this particular one with being seven foot six we felt that the m bathroom had a better feel perhaps less claustrophobic that's subjective obviously to the individual using the van but we quite like the openness of this and whilst our son is relatively young so he's currently four at least we sort of can keep an eye on him at night when he's asleep etc where if it was an M bedroom at the moment we'd probably feel um, a little too separated from him as he gets older we'll probably want that extra space a little bit more privacy so we'll probably go for a mid bathroom um, in the elegance at some point but yeah we really like the open plan of this caravan light airy it has a great feel to it um, and the lighting in this again it's a shame it's not plugged in as the elegance wasn't but when this is actually plugged in the uh, ambient lighting with it being dimmable from the command was absolutely fantastic okay then so we'll go through now into the bedroom okay so we're into the bedroom area of the swift conqueror 580 2023 model um, and this particular model on the 580 has a transverse bed so it's not an uncommon layout uh, i think in this particular van as with the front of the van with the light high gloss uh, cream um, cupboards and lockers it does feel much more spacious than it otherwise would do and um, the use of greys as well i think really work well here so one of the big benefits of a transverse island bed is that you've got that storage underneath that's accessible from um, outside in the in the side locker we store our tables and chairs underneath our bed um, so we have two isabella thor chairs and a, a dometic water waterproof table and they fit under with ease so that's a great benefit of a transverse bed you're not losing that storage again you can see the open plan feel to this fan there are quite a number of mirrors around which also helps with that light airy feeling so you've got the corner cabinet there so becca tends to use that sort of to get ready it's a great place uh, to, to dry your hair etc because you've got sockets underneath um putting makeup on what have you um i put some of my toiletries in there as well as the bathroom so yeah really useful corner cupboard that really like the mirror there really useful mirror um, and a great uh, space for storage 
underneath. Um, one of the great benefits again of this caravan is the storage. There are, there's tons of it, particularly for three of us. We're definitely not struggling with this particular van. We've got two drawers uh, and, a, and a fold down cupboard at the bottom. And then you've got um, a wardrobe either side of the bed. This one's got the main table in. We've got ours pushed a little closer than that, tucked away to the side with loads of hanging space. You've got your aerial there as well. Um, and obviously your reservoir there for the uh, Alder Central heating. A nice big wardrobe. So that would be the main wardrobe um, that you would use or that we use. And then over to the side, um, you've got a, a smaller wardrobe. So I tend to use this one um, for my bits and pieces. So it is a little bit narrower, but I can still get my jacket in there and a few bits and pieces on a rail. Uh, and then underneath you've got um, a storage cupboard. So again, no issues with storing my things for uh, for a holiday um, for you know five or six nights away etc we haven't gone away in the van yet for a long period of time so time will tell in terms of whether there's enough storage for maybe a, a two-week break but at the moment for the holidays that we have been having and that we have planned um, I don't think we've got to struggle with the space that we have in this caravan you've got the lockers above obviously um, which if I'm honest we haven't used yet um, We've not felt the need. I didn't mention in the front, um, you have these dimmable um, spotlights. So they do dim the twist um, on the back. Um, so you've got dimmable LED spotlights above the bed and you've got four in the front as well. We find them really, really useful. Um, and we do tend to use them um, whilst we're sort of sat in bed, uh, reading or um, using our tablets, etc. So. I think that's a really nice touch um, and it works well with the ambient lighting so you can really fine tune the lighting in this caravan that's one of the great things about the swift command i think swift have definitely um got the market with regards to the uh, ambient lighting and the um, atmosphere in caravans <laughs> that's subjective um, particularly if you if you sort of prefer bailey but i often find that when i look at bailey caravans and they're plugged in um, in showrooms and on pictures, they often tend to be too bright. I think if Bailey could perhaps start to configure something similar to Swift where you can actually dim um, the lighting and sort of set mood lighting, etc. I know in the Bailey Alicanto range, they've now included the, the coloured LED uh, RGB style lighting, which looks great, really like that. Um, but I think the rest of the lighting in the vans could do with um, something similar to what Swift offer. And I think with the ambient lighting, Swift have definitely um, got the market for me in terms of how they can, um, how you're able to configure um, the atmosphere. Okay, so that's the bedroom. We've looked at the front. We're now gonna go through into the bathroom. So this is a rear end bathroom design in the 580 opposed to the mid bathroom in the 560. It has a sliding door um, which fixes up here just with a small bolt we have had an issue with our door and um, it slides fine no issues when we're on site and in use we did have a little bit of a problem the first time we went out in the van um, and we were very lucky we didn't actually damage um, any of the um, woodwork in the caravan and um, i think on this actual demo model if you look just there there is a little bit of damage and i believe that it's due to this potential design fault and it's something which swift could potentially look at because there's no issue with the door design in terms of the way it slides it's very smooth the way it's used on site it's great it looks good so no problems there it's this bolt up here i think what happens um and i explain sort of how i figured that out really what happens is um you bolt it up when you um when you're about to tow and then when you get on the road, you hit a pothole perhaps or an uneven surface, uh, the van bounces, the caravan bounces. And I think that bolt just pops out. So it just lifts out. Um, it just seems to drop. And as a result, once that's dropped, the door can then slide. So obviously when you go around a corner, the door slides and there is actually a stopper just above on the rail, which stops 
the uh, handles hitting the woodwork, but I think with the force in perhaps turning a corner, it takes it beyond the stopper, and I think that's what's happened here. So I'm not sure whether or not Swift are aware of that issue, and it is a real shame because other than that, it's, it's, it's a great sort of looking door, really smooth, great design. It just could do perhaps with an extra clip, a bolt, uh, the bottom perhaps, clip round the front. I know Baileys tend to use a clip on the front to stop it from moving, but just something else that can perhaps assist it when the um, caravans uh, in transit, when, when it's actually on the move. So yeah, what we actually do now is we, um, we sort of put towels down on the floor um, against the bottom of the door. Um, and when we often arrive on site, we tend to find that um, the bolt has come un unlocked, um, but the towels have kept the door in place. So that tends to save save the door. And since then, um, we've not had any issues, but we could do something more permanent, perhaps um, down the line. I might speak to the service department here at Loudham's in Nottingham, and perhaps um, ask if something can be done when the caravan goes in for its first service at the end of this year. Okay, so the bathroom area itself, really spacious. Uh, it's a little different to the 22 model. Um, this 23, I'll explain why in a moment. And it's one of the reasons we chose the 22 um, over the 23 model. Um, and I think it'd be difficult sort of for, for Swift to um, to change this because I think I understand why it is the case, but it's got a lovely big shower area. Um, love the gray panels in the shower. So the colors in this van, um, uh, in, in my opinion, sort of a, a really avant-garde, um, really, really nice, modern, uh, compared to a lot of caravan design. It's got potentially a bit of sort of a continental feel to it and um, with some of the Adrias perhaps sort of it's not as typical British um, in, in look but it still does feel cosy. It's the right blend of uh, modern and cosy design. This bathroom lights really well um, with the LED lighting. There's LED light in the shower. Um, there's a um, uh, a light I think just in the corner over that side it's actually changed in this one it's on the other on the um, on the 2022 20, so the reason then that there's a, a slight difference in this bathroom to the uh, the 22 model is the rear panel of this van which I'll show you shortly so this van looks gorgeous from outside the, the new rear panel that Swift are using um, I prefer over the 22 model however there's a slight compromise as a result um, I think because of the shape of the actual panel itself it's intrude it sort of intrudes into um the rear of the caravan so as a result of that these two roof lights which are normally much larger so in our caravan they're a lot larger than that in our conqueror 580 22 model and they also have um a fly screen and they have a um, blind these only have fly screens which i think is potentially an issue particularly in summer when it's obviously um, light early in the morning you're going to want to black out this bathroom area and you can't because of that panel they've opted for the smaller roof lights so i think that's a slight downgrade i think everything about this van externally is an upgrade but that is potentially a compromise that I'd struggle with because I'd want to black out the bathroom area. Loads and loads of storage. So you've got the cupboard there, uh, put all your toiletries, etc. And you've also got a nice size under sink cupboard with a um, with a shelf in there as well. You've got the outer central heating. So you've got a towel rail um, just in the back there. You've got the vent down there as well for the uh, for the central heating. So really nice bathroom. I do think the 2022 bathroom is slightly nicer because of those larger roof lights that you have the blinds that you can actually black out the area. But that's a compromise that perhaps has to be made for the new rear panel, which does look fantastic. So that's the bathroom. Let's have a look outside. So the exterior of the Swift Conqueror 580 2023 has that distinctive grey side panelling. Really makes it stand out from previous generations. Really like the new alloys that 
Swift are using on their new caravan ranges. Look really, really premium. Makes these caravans look really special, which this is. It's Swift's premium single axle caravan. One of the reasons we went for it is because of the design and the high specification. So to the front here, you've got the shower point, which would be really useful for anyone who likes walking, has dogs, etc. That isn't on the 2022 model, that's a good upgrade. We've got the ultra flow uh, water um, inlet point there for your uh, aqua roll. You've got storage under the front seat, to the side, to the offside. But yeah, really nice looking van. I really think that Swift for 2023 are definitely onto something with their premium ranges. So with the Conqueror sat next to the new Elegance Grande, they really do stand out. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you prefer it over the standard Challenger or the dealer specials? So you've got gas point to the front, under seat storage there on the near side. 230 volt external socket, aerial point and a 12 volt for a TV and the awning, be really useful. And then you've got that underbed storage we spoke about. We really do need that, not got room in the car, sticking the table and chairs. So we'd have to have something similar, which is why we like the Elegance 835. So that's the Conqueror 580. Let us know what you think in the comments. Could you justify the premium over the Challenger or the Challenger dealer specials? We think so. We love the contemporary styling. And that's why we purchased the 580. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.